In this competition briefing, we will discuss everything necessary to bring with you to RMA to look your best on the varsity speech and debate team. Overall rules for competition wear for boys and girls. You are looking at business professional. Remember, the older you look, the better you look. You're creating a statement for yourself, but you have to blend in, like the business world, with what people should wear. Suits for competition should be durable and dark. That way they hold up under uh, travel and stains. They should be sustainable. Dry clean only is good, uh, especially that uh, you won't have uh, time to uh, send them out otherwise. They should be comfortable. They should fit well. And finally, they should be functional. Remember, cashmere may sound good, but cashmere suits are incredibly hot when you're competing. Rules for guys. You should have a suit. Black or charcoal gray. Don't go to a lot of expense. You're going to be growing. You should have two to three shirts. Pastel works well. Not strong colors like red. Maybe a good blue. Something that works with your coloring. You don't need to necessarily buy white shirts since RMA has a white shirt for the blazer. You should have two to three ties. You should make sure the ties look good. They should be striking. Those are where you put your money. For shoes, don't worry about shoes. As you can see from these two young people competing, we use the RMA shoe. It should be broken in, and if you're doing the right job, you should be able to have it polished. Always dark socks. What not to do? Mix and match. Notice this blazer and these pants are totally the wrong shade. Also, your pants shouldn't be too high or too low. They should be right in the middle at your hip bone area. Not for competition is the RMA blazer. Here's students preparing for vocal warm-ups. Everybody's happy, except for this student, because he had to wear the RMA blazer because he couldn't find his suit. So therefore, the RMA blazer is only used for on-campus events. <clears throat> for girls, power suits, no dresses, no sweaters, power suits. They should be dark as well. Although your blouse, and you should have several blouses, should be pastel or another color that works with you. I say championship skirts because here's the final round at Villiger. Notice these two competitors. One is ours, receiving the trophy. They're wearing skirts. Champions wear skirts. You look older and more professional. With skirts come, of course, hose or tights. Tights are good, and they should match the color of the suit that you're wearing. Uh, that way it looks just about right. Shoes. Notice Tabby is wearing shoes. They are with a heel, but only about a two inch heel. Not major, because you are competing with this. Flats are also acceptable. And then finally, no dangly earrings. There's a special rule on girl shoes, is because girl shoes look more comfortable than they are. Well, actually, they don't look comfortable at all. You should be able, you should, you must, for national tournaments, bring walking shoes and a bag. In between rounds, because there's a lot of walking at national tournaments, you wear your walking shoes, like the secretaries. But in your bag, you have your competition shoes. Before you get into the room, not in the room, where you're competing, you change over to your competition wear. Blisters are the worst thing at a tournament. Wear comfortable shoes when walking. For everyone, you should buy, as well as competition wear, a garment bag. They're not expensive. Just get one that's durable. This is a picture from the bus. They need to be zipper closed. In the garment bag, you have your suit, your shirts, your blouses, your ties, your competition wear. The garment bag also needs to have a place, hopefully, for your name on it. When we unload at the tournament hotels, it's a lot easier to make sure that you have your bag when it's got the name on it. Now, in the bus, we don't have much space as that last picture showed. 
Therefore, what do you use to carry your other stuff? A soft-sided suitcase. We have a lot of stuff on a debate trip. Supplies, waters, chewy bars, beef jerky, laptops, printers, extent boxes, carts, wheelchair, garment bags. We don't have a lot of room for a lot of suitcases, and for these tournaments, they're all, you're only going to be gone a couple days in the hotel. Therefore, you need to think about a carry-on bag. A carry-on bag will be stored away in the luggage compartment. It needs to be small, just like on an airline. It needs to contain your toiletries, deodorant, shampoo, soap, razor, uh, other things that people need to uh, make themselves look pretty. Nightwear, because you will be sharing rooms, make sure you have, you know, sweats or uh, shorts or whatever to sleep in. And then we will allow you to if we have time to have civilian wear at the hotel so you don't dirty up your RMA activity wear. When we're in public, however, RMA activity wear is the rule. For everyone, a portfolio. A portfolio is going to be leathered, places for your flow pad, that's a legal pad, your cases, pens, and essentials. There are no podiums in competition rooms. This is what's most important to get. You can get them at Staples about $15 to $20. You should also buy an umbrella. Yes, it rains at competitions. We don't want you getting wet or your suit wet. So therefore, it's cheaper to buy it beforehand than buy it at the school store. And put your name on the shaft. There's usually a place to uh, tape that because everybody's going to have an umbrella. At competition, you come in with your suit, but you also should have, when you're at any tournament, your competition bag. What is your competition bag? It's an over-the-shoulder, cheap, and black bag. Here's SR from a, the championship, national championship team of 2005. The competition bag holds your binder, your portfolio, your water, your cell phone if you have it, your iPod if you have it, and a book. Water is very important. You carry it with you to the rounds. If you're a girl and you're at a national tournament, this is where also you put your competition shoes or your walking shoes. For everyone, the question always comes up, do I need a cell phone? If you have one, bring it. If you don't have one, wait a while. They're not mandatory, but they're nice because competitions at national tournaments are usually spread out over a campus. If you do bring a cell phone, make sure you have your charger, and your cell phone is not to be used to call anyone else but your teammates or your coach to say, where am I supposed to be? And for everyone, overcoats. Around November, it starts getting cold. Here's Brennan Morris at Princeton last year, and it was cold. We compete on campuses. We're outside. We're walking. When we start competing locally, there's a walk from the dormitories to Crow Hall for the load. Therefore, you need to think about, when the, the time comes in October, getting a nice overcoat. You keep your lightweight suit, but you add an overcoat. Darker the better, scarf and gloves. The overcoat should go down to your knees. And the nicer it looks, the better impression you make. So for recap, and here I am about five years ago at a Princeton, New Jersey tournament. As you can see, it was winter. Always make sure you have reviewed the blog on competition wear. When you come, make sure you have your garment bag, your carry-on bag, your portfolio, umbrella. If you have your cell phone, make sure you bring your charger and your competition bag. This will be what you'll be needing to look good. And if you look good, you'll compete good or gooder than you would otherwise.